wife gave birth to a baby last night. This is Owen. To Cracker. Back again for Owen. Ron Yates coming across. He's left ending. Ending coming on. Back to well have been very costly and certainly the best thing we've seen from uh, Watford yet. Ending was left on his own. Hit it first time. To Lug. Waited for Yates to commit himself and then let him get the tackle. Now he's around the outside though. He's got two men up for it. the header but very much made by Stuart Scullion this is Graham Ron Yates over on the far side waiting for one to be curled to him what a good ball to Callahan. Yates is poised to come in on this and it just failed to make the top of the stand but he was well placed and he timed it well came off the top of his curly top Wally Calls that Callahan got Evans the other way. Oh, good effort! It was covered though, but it was a good idea. Yates with a header. In comes Williams. This is Owen. Ending. Absolutely crawling past the post. Dean, who is appealing for a corner and they're playing as close as two peas in the pod on the whole match now St John with space to Graham this is promising just put a hand to it Walker away by Lug just reached down that right hand did Mike Walker good stuff by Liverpool by St John and by Graham but this man stopped them in their tracks just Scallion, Lug, nicely through the legs of Wall, ending, and it's up, very ending. That's the man who's put Watford in front and made a surprise here, a definite possibility. And I don't have to tell you who they support. But at long last, an example of the quick strike, the quick through ball from Lug to Ending, who crept through the uh, Liverpool defenders, looked at the linesman, he ran straight back to half time, and Watford are in the lead, and they're going mad about it. The linesman was right to run back to the halfway line. Clearly, Ending is onside as the pass is played to him. But what about Tommy Lawrence? He gets both hands to the ball, so should he have saved it? Or was the header too powerful? I'll settle for the header. Over 20 minutes for Watford to hold on. Or Liverpool to strike back. This is Callahan. Chris Lawler is up. Graham! Well, he had to turn on it quickly and he got underneath it. Garbutt. And it's a two against two situation. And an absolute block tackle from Ron Yates. And he got mud in the eye from somewhere. I wouldn't like to say where. But he did that tackle because he knew perfectly well that if he didn't stop Garbett, Garbett was clear. And the referee reading the right act to both the blocker and the man who may well have uh, pushed the mud that way. If daggers would help, they were on Liverpool's side then. covering by Tommy Lawrence which is up the shorts in the process we've had a minute of injury time Liverpool going forward again St John to Hughes good try one Evelyn Hughes oh and over the top by Jeff Strong Jeff Strong just stuck out a leg and it went over the top the referee has taken his signal from both linesmen back comes St John really is an eternity for what for these closing seconds mr smith looks at his watch again we're not quite sure at this stage whether it's elation or agony 
They're all asking Mr. Smith whether his watch is okay. Watford players, we've had three minutes of injury time. Williams coming forward for Watford. This is Williams. Endin is in the middle. Away by Ron Yates, missed it. Garbage trying again. And Lawrence could have done nothing about that. The Watford crowd absolutely on their toes, demanding this final whistle. And it still doesn't come. Three and a half minutes now of injury time. Scullion, the man perhaps who started it all in the first half. Garbage. And the whistle now has come. Watford have made history. They are in the semi-final for the first time ever. The photographers all around Ken Perry, the supporters going mad. The field, an absolute mess of supporters running on. Ken Perfi really must be the most delighted man here at Vicarage Road. The goal that mattered coming from Barry Endine in the 64th minute. A goal which uh, takes Watford into the semi-final round for the first time ever. And you can see from the way the supporters are running on the field what they think of it hereabouts. A record crowd, a record receipts, and as far as Watford are concerned, a record result. They are absolutely...